Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to this week's Children's Corner. I was wondering how many of you like playing board games. Now, I love board games. One of my favourites when I was growing up was Monopoly. And it's a game I used to play an awful lot with my grandmother when I was probably seven, eight, nine. Uh, Monopoly is all about getting money. The point of the game is to get all the money and make sure nobody else has any. And at the end of the game, whoever has all the money is the winner. There's another game that we play sometimes at home, and it's called the Game of Life. You know, the Game of Life is a bit like our own lives. We've got to choose what path we're going to follow. And when we land in each square, sometimes we're told we must do something, but other times you're given a choice and you've got to make a decision. But just like Monopoly, the whole uh, aim of the game, the whole point is about ending up with all the money at the end of it, about being wealthy, about having everything, and having more than everybody else. So Jesus had a lot to say about that. And today, we're thinking about a Bible reading from Mark chapter 8. And after we've finished, I'd like you to go home, take out your Bibles and read it. Mark chapter 8, verses 31 to 38. And in that, Jesus is talking about what it means to be a follower, a disciple of his. And he says something which sounds really harsh and really difficult. If anyone wants to follow me, you must turn away from your selfish ways. You must take up your cross and follow me. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, you will save it. After all, what good is it if you gain everything in the whole world but lose your own soul? What is worth more than your soul? So that's, that's a really important message for us to remember right throughout our lives, that we can treat life like a game of life, like a game of monopoly, where all that matters is how much we've got. All that matters is getting more and more and more and not anyone else or anything else. And that's how many people live their lives. Many people live their lives in that selfish way where it's all about getting and getting and getting, but not, never about giving or giving or giving. And it can be about all sorts of things. We might want the biggest house, we might want the biggest car, the fanciest clothes, the best holidays. All these things are ways of saying, I want, I need, I deserve. But Jesus says, no, live a different way. There is a better way to live. And that way is by caring for others, by denying ourselves, by putting others first, by being selfless, by giving, by sharing, by following his example, right up to the cross. He was prepared to give up his life for you. What are you prepared to give up for somebody else? Because in this life, there are winners and losers, but the winner isn't the person with the most money at the end of it all. The winner is the person who shares eternal life with Jesus. If we put all our effort into living life like a monopoly game. At the end of it all, we'll lose everything because we can't take it with us when this life ends. But if we spend our life following the example of Jesus, of giving, of sharing, of caring, then at the end of it, we will have a place at his right hand in glory. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, help us to learn to follow the example of Jesus. Help us to give up our selfish ways. Help us to love and to care, to share and to sacrifice for the good of others. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we're going to sing our song, Father, I place into your hands the things that I can't do.
God love you. God bless you. God keep you safe. And see you again next week.